equilibrium income determination, aggregate demand, aggregate supply approach. Along the y-axis, consumption, investment, savings are measured. National income is measured along the x-axis. The 45 degree line y equal to c plus s is the aggregate supply curve. Any point on this line is EQ distance from X axis and Y axis. It implies national income is exhausted by aggregate expenditure. To illustrate this, let us assume national income is OY. It is equal to YF. At that level of income, aggregate expenditure is OE. This is also equal to YF. As the production in the economy is subjected to constant returns, Regarding aggregate supply, the economy moves along the aggregate supply curve, that is the 45 degree line. Aggregate demand is the outcome of consumption function and investment function. Curve C represents consumption function. It slopes upwards at a constant rate. Its slope is equal to marginal propensity to consume. C plus I is obtained by vertically adding investment function with consumption function. The business community decides to invest or plans to invest a fixed sum A, B at different levels of national income. C plus I curve is parallel to the consumption function curve C. It is the aggregate demand curve. Aggregate demand curve C plus I cuts the aggregate supply curve Y equal to C plus S at E1. At this point, the economy is in equilibrium. The equilibrium level of national income is Y1. Again, the aggregate supply Y1 E1 is equal to aggregate demand Y1 E1. At this income level, the community plan to spend Y1 G amount on consumption and save G E1 amount. The community's planned investment is also equal to GE1. Hence, at E1, not only aggregate supply is equal to aggregate demand, but also planned savings is equal to planned investment. No other national income level will bring about such equalities.
take income level y0 it is less than equilibrium income y1 aggregate demand is y0 e0 aggregate supply is y0 k aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply moreover the community wants to spend y0 d on consumption and save dk whereas the business community plans to invest d e0 planned investment exceeds planned savings by k e0 as the aggregate demand is greater than aggregate supply the business people use their accumulated inventories to meet the excess demand in order to arrest further reduction in inventories they invest more the level of output employment and income start growing ultimately the economy reaches the point e1 and enjoy the equilibrium level of income y1 take income y2 in this case aggregate supply is y2 e2 aggregate demand is y2 j aggregate supply exceeds aggregate demand by j e2 community wants to spend y2 h on consumption and save h e2 business people plan to invest only h j aggregate supply exceeds aggregate demand as the aggregate supply is larger than aggregate demand there emerges an undesired increase in the stock of inventories business firms in their attempt to do away with unwanted accumulation of inventories reduce the investment it leads to fall in output employment and income at last the equilibrium level of income y1 is restored this need not be a full employment equilibrium level of income 